All right, folks, um, back again with another budget gem or budget bust. Um, this time I'm doing something I've never done before, and that is I'm doing a retest. So I had um, several of you had said, you know, the DB16, I don't know if it had enough voltage, um, which I agree with. Um, if you remember during my test, the lights went out in my house, <laughs> basically because of the amplifier. And um, we ended up roughly over 1,700 watts on the certified slash uncertified test with, uh, with that run. And uh, that was before I upgraded my power supply and added in uh, three excess D1400 batteries. And uh, now I've got a lot of power that I can provide. And uh, I figured, you know what? Let's retest the Rockville, because I still had it at my house. I actually have uh, enjoyed the amplifier. I've been using it as kind of my test amp here. Um, and I like it, so you know what? Let's give the amp another shot, and let's see if more voltage changes the result. Okay? So this is going to be a quick video. I'm only going to do one dyno run. I'm going to do two ohms, certified, uncertified and dynamic and uh, I'm gonna do it one take so sorry guys <laughs> no music that I'm sure you're all annoyed by now um, like I said one roll let's do this so let's just focus in here on the meters all right Turn these bad boys on. I already got the power supplies on. Batteries are connected. Sorry if you're staring at my arm. I'm gonna move the AMN1 to dyno mode. Takes a sec to click through. This is why I can't wait to get an AD1. All right, we are in dyno mode. Have my clamp meter ready to go. You can't see it, it's off camera. I will show you that as soon as we are done. Clamp meter's hooked up, power supply is going. You can see we're sitting at 14.8, 14.9 resting voltage. Amp is now turned on. Certified, uncertified run coming up. Let's see what we got. Same result. And of course, there's a little uh, error that you sometimes get on these when the power just shuts right off. That it'll all of a sudden uh, say the ohm loan dropped and the uh, watts jump. So, you can see right there, we uh, we got right around the same number. So adding three 14 volt batteries to the test uh, changed absolutely nothing. Um, quickly show you here. You know everything's all hooked up, ready to go. They're all there. Rockville amp is all turned on. Just waiting for the voltage to come up a little bit here. Right there, 14.75, okay, I think we're okay to do another run here, this time dynamically. So let's just reset the AMM1. Now, dynamic time. Well, we got more power dynamically than before. Uh, before we were at 2350 and that was pretty consistent for me. Uh, now we're up to 2445. So that's better dynamic. And again, uh, pretty much the same deal on the certified tests. So 
you know. Um, only thing I can do is try to see if I can juice it up a little bit with the game and see if I can get the uh, certified number to hit closer before the voltage really drops. But I don't think that's really going to make too much of a difference here. But just out of sure curiosity, we will give it a run. Alright, we're going to do another one. Okay. As soon as we clip, we'll turn the volume down. So, basically the same deal. So that's it. More juice, same result. Um, the only way I think we're going to get more power out of the Rockville is uh, more capacitors inside the amp for the certified test. Again, dynamically, this is a really good amp. Um, <laughs> even better results, all the way up to 20, almost 2,500 watts on dynamic power. So, dynamically, really good amp. Um, certified run. So, like I said, if you're going to compete with this amp and you're going to run a really, really long sine wave. Um, you're going to get about that 16, 1700 watts. And uh, as I said, this is running with three XS D1400 batteries. They're all brand new batteries. And two RD Power, 150 amp a piece power supplies. So 300 amp power supplies that kick in like an alternator. Um, yeah. And current draw. Max current draw we got out of the testing. Let's see if we can see this here. Two hundred and seventy point five amps, and that would have been on the that was on the certified run. So she consumed some current, but overall, uh, really good amp. Still a budget gem. Alright folks, see you next time.